What has bro been eating? Yo, dudes, you can do that. Your friendly neighborhood Jack's Blade is back. And let's talk about Miguel O'Hara, aka Spider Man 2099, because our boy made some gains in this new film. Primarily thanks to the artist, but you know how we do it here, so let's break it down. Now, even though Miguel isn't your typical spider person, due to the circumstances he got his powers, and for example, he doesn't cling to walls as easily as the others, so he actually has to use his claws to climb, which gives him more of a back pump than the other spider people. But also, most spider people don't work out in the traditional sense. Some get their gains automatically, like Toby and Pav, and some get theirs as a byproduct of daily superhero work, which I explained in depth in this YouTube short here. When we first saw Miguel in Into the Spider-Verse, our boy looked like the standard Spider-Man, exactly how he looked in most comics as well. Decently sized, not too big, but not too small. But after meeting the 60s Spider-Man, our boy decided to bulk up profusely. And working out has a myriad of benefits, one of the biggest being stress relief, increasing the feel-good neurotransmitters in your brain called endorphins. Though trying to go to the gym with super strength isn't as easy as you or me where we can progressively overload the weight and make it heavier, and for him, him going to a basic gym would be like the equivalent of you or me trying to curl a pencil a million times. A lot of work for very little benefit. Though what I loved in Across the Spider-Verse was it was shown that all the spider people made a gym specifically for them to all get their workouts in together, sort of like how She-Hulk and The Thing or even Cyborg and Starfire all have specific designed gyms to challenge themselves. And this is the place he stays, so it would make sense our boy is pumping more often than the others. Honestly, when you think about it, all spider people have their own personal workout cable machine with them, or their own personal <laughs> resistant bands like with them at all times just by their webs. And the cool thing about cables and resistance bands is they give constant tension when you're using it. So like when you're lifting up, constant tension, but also when you're lowering down, and the lowering down is just as important. And so you know, you could just like <laughs> whip it out, like get some like like resistance training in at any time if you got something heavy enough or just like use them like some people were using them like to hold themselves in place like that was freaking dope but like it makes so much sense why Miguel living in this place would be more jacked than the other spider people also with like his wall crawling being claws in the walls and stuff like that also like I said before wall crawling itself could be an amazing exercise especially if you're doing it for eight hours of the day and have a healing factor preventing overuse injuries from popping up this is the equivalent to rock climbing or bouldering for that amount of time. And the muscles you'll build are, you know, your biceps, your triceps, your fingers, your forearms, the wrist flexors, and the muscles of the back like the trapezius, the rhomboid, and the latissimus dorsi. That's just a fancy way of saying, you know, your wings, you know? And so it makes sense if Miguel is doing extra and why these are all extra developed and why he's so Dorito shaped. Next, web yanks and web pulls are very similar to muscles worked when doing cable rows and face pulls. Hitting your lats, traps, biceps, and posterior deltoids, especially if he's doing isometric holds and tensing everything to keep things from collapsing, like I mentioned earlier. Then he's sad enough to, so who's to say he doesn't, you know, do shrugs? Probably with really heavy equipment to build up those neck muscles even more. Though, I know he's done some dead lifting in the day. Miguel, I'm sorry, wait! Okay, I deserve that. But speaking of punching, that def also helps develop your traps as well. Matter of fact, if you want me to do a Tough Like the Tunes workout for Miguel, leave me a comment and like down below and I'll see what I can do because I know Tough Like the Tunes haven't been like catching y'all interested. But if enough of y'all are interested, I wouldn't mind doing it and I have fun with it, especially after this movie. I love it so much. But honestly, I wouldn't put it past Miguel to make a whole routine based on training to get stronger since he feels like he has the most responsibility of all the spider people since he brought them all together and had to get more formidable for for threats he was facing. Now, I wanna take this time to do something I don't normally do on this channel, and for people who followed me for a long time, y'all know the reason I love muscular characters so much is because I'm a personal trainer by trade. Like, I have been personal training people, I've personal trained thousands of people since 2010. And so, that entire thing to me of just like seeing a character who's muscular and then wondering like, what type of frame, like what type of training did they do? Like, how would you get a frame like that realistically, even if the character designs are so abstract, is something that I've always fall in love with because I'm also a colossal nerd of this stuff. I've been a colossal nerd of this ever since I was a little kid. So like the fact that I love the nerdy stuff and I love the fitness stuff is something I've always just loved blending together. So if you're interested in that sort of stuff, hit the bell icon and subscribe if you're interested. I got a ton of stuff like that here. But let's talk about Miguel. The reason I love this design so much is because it explains his character so perfectly, especially when you see the disasters that he has been through and you understand why he would want to be like strong stronger than the other Spider-Man or like appear stronger than most other Spider-Man who are built like you know decently built but they're not like most times yoked like Miguel is damn near Venom size in this film like damn near Eddie Brock comic size in the film where it's like okay he clearly clearly is working out to get stronger 
to like you know handle this sort of thing because he is the leader of this operation and I think that brought into the character design is just an immaculate choice I think that is absolutely just beautiful choicing and then also the fact that when you look at Miguel, like, uh, like uh, not just like the fact that he's like swolled up immensely, but like when you look at his character design, it's not the exact same character design just bulked up. Like they did a few little things. Like okay, first is his symbol, the spider symbol, isn't the you know um, normal Spider-Man 29 symbol from the comic books and from the first movie. Like they actually changed it a little bit, and they also like took away his cape. Well, they uh, the way they did his cape in this film was like it was part of like his suit, the way it comes in and out, and I thought that was. Just a freaking amazing choice amazing choice like just along with his claws and the teeth and stuff like that but like his build the frame of just being so intimidating and then being this force like it sort of feels like in a way when he is chasing Miles and he's attacking Miles, it sort of feels like a blue venom in a sense of just the size difference. The size difference of someone that big charging and like, I'm going to freaking stop you no matter what. I'm going to attack you no matter what, even if he has the, you know, the right mindset for it. Because like, again, I'm not going to tell you who's uh, right in this cause because like, you know, you can see Miles' side and you can see Miguel's side. Like they both have these like great points that it's just like, oh shit, like I don't know what to do in this state. But like, it's so cool. It's so cool. Also, his mask. This is the thing that I've always said about the Spider-Man um, movies. Like, they've started doing it a lot more recently, especially with, you know, like, um, the MCU and, you know, like, Deadpool and other stuff. But one of the things I absolutely love is the eyes have so much expression. Because one of the reasons I'm such a colossal fan of Mal, uh, eyes, uh, no, like, excuse me, no mouths on mask is just because you could be so expressive with the eyes. And the fact that, like, when he puts his mask on, he still has his eye movement and stuff like that. It does so much for expression and so much for the character that it's not just a, a typical thing of just like, oh, I have to use my body language. But the body language goes along with it because of his size his size frame of just like how he carries himself the way he walks the way he's just like look I'm going in I'm going to handle this like a freaking boss the way it's just it's so intimidating but it works so well for this character of Miguel here it works so freaking beautifully well and I got to give like you know the people all the people who worked on this film all the people who designed this film absolute credit because this is beautiful this is a masterpiece I wish they show this to more people like again uh, from my artist friends I've heard that it's just like drugs for the eyes because it is done so 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 well so excuse me I had to talk about that character design thing not just from the physical aspect of the training but just like from an artistic standpoint as well I think it's absolutely immaculate but if you made it this far in the video type in Miguel Fuerte down below because our boy is strong and you watching tell me what was your favorite scene in Across the Spider-Verse and if you've seen it tell me what you thought of the film I really want to get a discussion going and for people who want my in-depth thoughts on the movie specifically Go check out my most recent video. That's where I did an in-depth review about it. And if you actually want to get like a body like Miguel, but like you want more detailed stuff, like a full training program and meal plan to follow, check out my digital coaching app. It's like a personal trainer in your pocket on sale right now in the pinned comment. It has helped thousands of people out so far, so I hope it can help you out next. And remember, like I always say, keep calm, booyah on, and don't forget, moment tie. Hope you have a great rest of your day and go watch Spider-Verse already. Okay, Miguel, I know I was out of pocket, but I found a dimension that's gonna solve all our problems.